many Clevelanders are letting it sink in that pretty soon this will be the city of Cleveland without LeBron. If LeBron's going to head out to L.A., guess what? This massive banner of LeBron is going to. Now the question remains, what should we put here? Nobody wants to be associated with losing. Um, that's not why I came here. It's been tough, contrary to what people think. I mean, I'm human, too. Our players are human. The people I work with are human. And I think you have to cleanse yourself from those things. I came out, made a statement when the season was over in 2016, that if we were the same, worse, whatever it was, that I'd go jump in the, in the lake. Yeah, I think if you go out on a limb and you make a statement and you say you're going to do something, you got to do it. I'm ready for it to be over. Put it behind me. Put it behind the organization, our team, everybody. How is this going to be a cleansing for your organization today? Uh, and I know our fans have been very disappointed. I get it. Uh, I came here two years ago to win, and I'm going to win here. I truly believe that. And uh, hopefully this will turn the page on that. Thank you. Three, two, one, and we're going in, right? Three, two, one, let's go! Coach Hugh Jackson went into Lake Erie today, keeping that promise he made after two losing seasons. And in true Cleveland style, even gave it a name. The Cleanse. <laughs> no more freaking losing! Let's go! You know the drill. Yeah. We'll take you down. We got your two bags. We'll take your bags. You're working out? I love you. Yeah. yeah. Good player. Yeah. Browns. Browns. Nick. Nick. I'll see you. Thanks. Welcome. Baker. Take your picture real quick, man. Not really supposed to, but here. You get your phone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dope. Yeah, real quick. Oh, hi, thanks. Yeah. Appreciate it. Hey, good luck to you, man. You play college ball? Yeah, I played at George. Oh, cool, man. Cool. Yeah. I'm checking in the hotel. I didn't even think about it. Yeah, you're all good. I got you and Chubb together. Yeah. So. I figured. Is he in town yet? Yeah, you just got in about half an hour ago. Okay. Now, if I was Nick Chubb, where would I sleep? He'll probably sleep in that one. Well, we made it. It's about food time, Patty. I know this will make you happy. There's a Taco Bell around the corner for you, Patrick. Bob Evans is really good. I didn't know Bob Evans was a chain. I highly suggest it if you're going to go eat down there. I guess Olive Garden probably is the best option. I think we'll probably just call it an early night and try and wake up early tomorrow to get used to it, because I will have to do that on Wednesday once I sign my contract. Winning teams need good players. And one of the Browns' best 
won't be here for the start of camp. I just want to make sure you guys know when you get the guys head up, heads up first before it comes out. Josh will not be here the first part of training camp. Okay. Yeah. He will be back. There's no question. I think we'll get him back. Hopefully, I don't. I'm not going to tell you for sure what day because I don't know that. But we will get him back, and I think that's the most important part of it. That's a guy. Just working through some things. He's going to be in normal condition when he comes back? Uh, we're going to see if we can get him in the best condition we can get him in. Josh Gordon is one of the NFL's best receivers. Just about unstoppable when he's on the field. Problem is, he's never on the field. Of the Browns' last 48 games, Gordon has missed 43. Suspended by the NFL for substance abuse violations. I don't think we want to say much about Josh. We want to respect his privacy and just kind of keep the focus on him getting it together as a person. So first question is, when, when is he going to be back? When is he going to be back? We hadn't talked about that, right? When he's ready, he'll be back. But then that leads them to questions about, like, how does him not being around disrupt your football team? I think what you do is you concentrate on the, 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 the we're going to talk about who's here. The players are here. The players are here. You've always, we always done that. We're focusing on the 2018 so, season. We love Josh, but we got to coach the guys that are here. So that's our charge. Okay. Just let you all know the Baker deal should be done by the 2 o'clock or 1 o'clock meeting. By the, there's a 1 o'clock meeting and a 2 o'clock meeting. Which 1 o'clock is, is medical. medical yeah. 2 o'clock is D, Jimmy, you. 2 o'clock, so it'll be done by 2 o'clock. You get <laughs> But not by the medical meeting. <laughs> I love you. I'll say he put on his sweater for this. Look at that walk. Hello, John. Sir, how are you? Good, and yourself? Good to see you, Good to see you, My buddy. My pleasure, sir. Hey, nice hat. Nice hat. What's your name? Is yours Mr. You Dorsey? Good? Yeah. You good? I'm good. Oh, good. good. Excited? Yeah. Congratulations. Appreciate it. Let's roll. Let's do it. Will you sign? Do you want a pen? Yes. Please? Right. Carry on, Let's do pen. this. Tom, are you good with this? Absolutely. OK. Here, Brad. Jack, are you good with this? Yes, sir, I am. OK. Probably a poor penmanship right there. <laughs> Good penmanship. Appreciate it. You made me run all the way back. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Baker Mayfield is in the money. But it isn't his big arm that's making national news. It's his big wheels. Most position groups do dinners and make the rookies pay for it. Not here. Not Cleveland Browns. I had to get an RV for training camp. So it's a good thing I signed last night. So what's the story behind the RV? <laughs> Is there much you can tell us about the RV and what RV? <laughs> Will anyone else be invited in besides the quarterbacks? We'll find out if anybody qualifies. Let me show you the back first. If you're going to use the <laughs> toilet on board and stuff like that, this is your dump station area. It's a matter of hooking that guy in, into there. Now, chances are you're going to have somebody come in and pump it out for you if you're going to. I doubt if you got a dump station here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's going to be a strictly no bathroom. I guess you run a, run a hose to the woods <laughs> or something like that. Yeah. You know, some Christmas vacation. Come on inside. Show you what's in here. Slide out in and out. Switch this guy. Okay. It's me every time. I mean, this is big time. Okay, on the toilet, if you're using the toilet, what we do is we throw in one of these little tablets, helps decompose the waste matter, and make sure toilet paper, if you run out, go to Walmart and get some more. Gotcha. It's the RB biodegradable stuff. Okay. Okay. Welcome back. A couple of things I want to get to. Training camp 2018, ain't no stopping us now. None. But we got work to do in this room. I'm looking for guys that want to do. Does everybody understand? I can't hear you. 
That's all we need. I will take care of you. You guys know that. But I need guys that are all in. Stripes on your helmets will not be given. They will be earned by your work ethic and making the final 53-man roster. Earn the right to be on this football team. Nobody's giving anybody anything. You gotta work for it. Think championship, guys. Not in the mediocrity. Think championship. Why not? Why not the Cleveland Browns? I want guys that want to be a part of what we're about to do because it's gonna be special. This is gonna be the start of something great. I can see it in you guys' eyes. You guys wanna change the narrative of the Cleveland Browns? You got a chance to do so. Starting now. Starting right now. The best chapstick holder you got. You needed it at practice. This is it number five? Number five. Eight. What? Yeah. You're not that old. I'm 29, that's fine. I'm gonna stop saying that old when I'm afraid of my age, man. The other one walk on's right back there. The more important one. Everybody's important, Carl. Well, not as important as a Heisman Trophy winner in the NFL's number one overall draft pick, even if he is currently the backup. Welcome to Cleveland, Baker! Thanks, man. But Mayfield knows how to move up. He was a walk-on at both Texas Tech and Oklahoma before becoming the starter. No, there's, there's absolutely no way they keep this up all practice. I bet you they do. This is, uh, I'll tell you what, it's a little bit different than Oklahoma training camp. Brown's kick, 2018. I would never get my mind right to be a backup. That's the second that I would be complacent. That's the second that I would stop working. You always got to work to be the best. Good decision. Good decision. Hey, Here it comes. I'd wait to stand in there. Yo, I'd wait to stand in there six. That's improvement. I'd wait to stand in there. I'd wait to stand in there. He dead. He dead. He dead. He dead. He dead. He dead. Give me some. What? There's no question that we drafted Baker for a reason, and I think he's the future of this franchise. Good work up front, boys. That boy, Corby. Ow! Good job, boys. Good job, boys. That boy Baker, a ball. He throwing that. But Tyrod Taylor has demonstrated all offseason what he needed to show us and show me and the staff to be the starter. That boy knows how to stick the ball. Man, what? Well, come on, bro. You talking? Must be the RV. It must be the RV. Hey, where to play, Ty? He's let us. Need the receiver. Come on, hustle up. He's the first one in the building, last one to leave. Like, you know, that's not an understatement. Like, that's the honest truth. Keep leading them. Keep leading them. How does it feel becoming a, uh, a walk on to a number one overall pick? Well, pretty humbling, man. It's got to be. I, like, it makes my mama proud, I'll be honest. Does he even know I'm almost five? You're almost five? <laughs> When's your birthday? December 16th. December 16th? Yep. I'm almost 29. Oh, wow. December's 29. Next Friday. On Friday, it's going to be his birthday. How about we, how about we have a, I appreciate it. How about we have a birthday party? Me and you. You want to have a birthday party? Yeah, can I join his birthday party? Yes. 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 Yes.
It's, it's a competition in everything you do, baby. You know how to do it. Why not? <laughs> it doesn't help. Rookies need to maximize every minute of camp. Time is money. Just ask defensive end Carl Nassib. Who here knows what compound interest is? This is real <laughs> Financial advisors are everywhere, okay? They'll take your money and they'll take 1% of everything you got. And you're like, oh, it's 1%. It doesn't matter. Probably. I know it matters. It That's matters. Why I it matters a lot. Because if you learn this yourself, you can make a billion dollars. We got a lot of money right now, right? This is the easiest equation to make you rich. You have a million dollars, and after seven years of getting 10% on that money every single year, okay, you're making money off of it, you're gonna double it after seven years. So you double your money every seven years for 42 years, you get 64 times your original money. So you got a million dollars, you can end up with $64 million by the time you retire. Nice. If you don't turn that in. Listen, Miles has got $30 million. Okay, so let's say, let's say, Yo, half, add that. This mother be a billionaire by the time he was. Retired. So hold on. <laughs> I'm asking you this again. So you telling me. Bro, it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. Believe it. I swear to God. You that no, okay, you don't believe so that. Believe that bro, hey. I've been thinking that the past three months, and I don't spend like money on stupid. I, I met Taylor Swift, and before the concert, I was like, I need to buy a Roly. So she knows I got it. <laughs> and I didn't because of this. So you telling us that all we got to do is put $100,000 in the bank yep. and let it sit there. 100%. Just let it sit. Don't touch it. Interest. It's called interest, and it's so easy. When you go to the store and you buy something for 10 grand, that's $640,000. Mm. Perky boy, oh, I like charge people for that. That's good knowledge, man. Hey, no, don't charge me, bro. You about to make that call. <laughs> There are people in this room that have won Super Bowls. There are people in this room that chose to be here, that wanted to be here. I turned down seven other jobs to come here. I want to be here. You guys that were here last year, I was an asshole when I came in here. I don't want that guy to be here this year. Unless you tell me I have to come back. It's a simple, it's not as hard as people think it is to make calls in a game. It's not that hard. What's hard is getting it to you in a hurry. Don't stutter. Tell everybody what to do and then trust that they'll do their job. Trust that they'll play their ass off. Trust that they will impose their will. Because that's what we do on every snap. The other thing is, is now the real conditioning test will take place and we will all be welcome to camp on how we go about 40 up downs. And remember, you guys, when a new guy comes in, they don't practice with us without doing the 40 up downs. Can you impose your will? Can you push yourself? Can you do this? Down one, down two. two. Down three, down four, down five, down six, down seven, down eight. Ah, there you go. Jarvis Landry, ooh, ooh, ooh. Jarvis Landry, ooh, ooh, ooh. I love that. You know I love that. These boys in it though, like more. Yeah, like Miami only really had this, like that area right there. They didn't have like all this. It's great fans. Yeah. Jarvis Landry only signed with the Browns this past April. Last season with the Dolphins, he led the league in receptions, proving he has the best hand in the NFL. The only thing more incredible than his catches are his workouts. It's your work. Let's get it out your hands. Let's go to work. What we do. What we do. 
I see you, Jarvis. Nice job, Jarvis. Nice job, Jarvis. They got to deal with you, huh? They got to deal with you. The receiver they call Juice is electrifying camp. Woo! Out of way, Jarvis! Yeah! Out of, baby! Good grab, Juice! Woo-wee! <laughs> There you go. That's a way to be quick in and out of it. Excellent, Jarvis. That's what I'm talking about, Juice. Jarvis is good. There you go. Get up, man. Get up, get up. There you go. I like when you get mad. I ain't even touch you. Listen. Bless him. Bless him. Go ahead and bless him. Bless him. Bless him then. Every DB, every defense, bless him. So bless him is pretty much, you know, you know, God bless us with his ability. God gave us this, uh, give us this ability to be a blessing to other people. You know, so it's no different than coming out here and going against a DB. We got to bless him. You know, it ain't got to be Sunday for them to get to work. That's all it is. That's all it is. Go ahead and bless him then. Go ahead and bless him then. Bless him. Bless him. God gave us this for a reason. Bless him. Go ahead and bless him then. Bless him. We're going to bless him. That's it. That's it. Not everything is a blessing. Just eight days before camp began, Hugh Jackson's brother died. Now he's lost his mother, too. Thank you for all you did, though, for you kept her. You guys thank me, man. You kept her together for so long. It's only me and you now, girl. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. We pushed through. She taught us one thing, how to be strong. Yep, she did do that. You gotta be strong. Is she not in pain? There's a lot of slick answers around camp, but maybe not enough sharp play, not enough concentration, not a team digging deep. See that. Ah, where's our intensity around here? Let's go. We'll just go through the motions. Oh, That's too soft. This is way too soft. Way too soft. Today a bad day right now. Sucks, man. Sucks. Sucks. Quickly, quickly, quickly. So let me say something real quick. Yeah, go ahead. Fellas. <clears throat> I don't know what the f has been going on here. And I don't know why it's been going on here. But this, if you're not hurt, like if your hamstring ain't falling off the bone, your leg ain't broke, I don't know, like, you should be 
practicing. Like straight up. Like that is weakness. And that is contagious as And that ain't gonna be in this room, bro. That has been here in the past and that's why the past has been like it is, bro. That is over with here, bro. If you can practice, practice. You can't get no better. Ain't nobody gonna get better by being on the sideline if you ain't hurt. If you're not hurt, you gotta practice. Because you make other work even harder. Now they had more risk of getting hurt because you don't want to practice. Because you've been a straight up, man. That is real, bro. That ain't happening here. I'm just letting y'all niggas know that ain't not happening here. I'm hurting, I'm tired just like every body in this But I ain't taking no days off because I can't be great that way. That gotta be the attitude and the mentality all the time. All that weak don't live here no more. That don't exist. It's contagious, bro. Like it's really contagious. It's contagious. You know, I'm not really much of a talker. You know, when, when I do talk, it, it takes a lot before it comes out. But at the same time, I try to talk with the best interest of the team, you know, not just myself. You know, pushing guys, holding the guys accountable, and, man, just going and, and leading by example. Well, we got my girl from Australia, first of all. Daughter Joy. And my boy Blue. Joy's one. Going on seven. This is us. We're homebodies. Like, we love to cook. We love to watch movies. We don't really like to go out. So, this is perfect for us. Right now, we're just getting the painting out of the way. Making it home, you know? We're going to be here for a while. So, we're going to do it right. You gotta learn how to do it yourself. You gotta press it though. Look, I told you, you gotta do it with two hands. There you go, now press it. Now you just look. You gotta do it hard, good job. Yep, 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 you got it. Just being here is a blessing in itself. You know, it's kind of almost like my story, you know, being an underdog. I always feeling like you have to prove something. Just wanna win. That's it. That's it. People have been tweeting me nonstop and asking like, oh, is Brogan allowed in the RV? Is Brogan allowed in the RV? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, I think last time I checked, I was a quarterback too, you know? I come in here every single night. I check the fridge, I restock it, I lay the snacks out. And if I don't lay out the things the right way and the presentation is poor, they're gonna have my ass. I told Drew, I'm like, man, I'm not very good at the whole snacks deal. What should we get? I'm thinking Pop-Tarts, Oreos, you know, all that stuff. He's like, stop right there. Let's get some healthy snacks. So went to Katie, our nutrition lady, and said, can you please gather me the best uh, healthy snacks you have? And you know, being a rookie isn't the easiest deal. And obviously, as you can tell. So let's start here first. Right here, behind here, is Baker's. Baker has the room. We have the Normatec boots in here to just, when we recover. This is kind of, it kind of flips from, you know, I know Tarad stays here. Maybe I'll come in here or I'll find a spot here, you know? And then behind those curtains, that's all Drew, so. Let me fluff Drew's pillow for him and just take care of the trash. And we have footballs in here and of course we do. We're quarterbacks, right? Okay, you guys are good. We'll, we'll stay here for a couple of minutes. Should get all this. The only thing, Coach, I'd say is, mm -hmm. is when we talked about these people missing practice, I think it would help mm -hmm. if, all right, I'm fine if Joe thinks that they need to take the day off, but can he be dressed 
and just put it on me that he won't get any you know, reps? Well, I think for the new coaches here, we're not taking guys out because they're special or anything like that. We're taking them out for preventative measures. Yeah. And normally the team has understood that. Yeah, well, I understand there's a rhyme and reason for right. doing it. It's been prevent. Duke has had a history of pulling. And if we end up losing him or missing him, it doesn't help us. Well, guys, this is all for preventative measures. Nobody's trying to take anybody out that had been a problem. I, just, I, have, I have an opinion on it, mm -hmm. and and we're, we need to get so much done. Mm -hmm. you know. And, and I know I said that to you and we joke about it, but if we live in our fears, <laughs> I mean, our team has to get mentally tougher and be able to fight through the yeah. that we got to fight through. We got to change this drastically, and if we got guys that haven't done sitting around doing nothing, you know, it, I just don't know how we're gonna do it. Well, I respect you saying that. I mean, I used to sit in the same I mean, chair. Joe, let me I'm finish. Whoa, whoa, let me finish. I used to sit in the same chair as you guys sat in, and I used to feel the same way. I just want to kill them, okay? Until all of a sudden, I sat in this chair, and then they're not there, and you don't get them to practice. And you can't get them through, and then you don't have them for three weeks. And I'm not living in my fears. That's real. And I think we all can appreciate that. Anything else? Speak now, baby. Hold your peace. Get it out. <coughs> Guys, listen, I'm excited about what you're doing. I'm going to say it again. But the chair I sit in, a little different than the chair you guys sit in. I get to watch from a different lens. Okay, and I think you guys can all respect that. At the end of the day, I get to drive this bus, and I'm going to get it the way I want it. That's period. That's just how it works, okay? Al, used to, Al taught me a long time ago. You know, what, what is it, Al? Give it to me. It's your team. You do whatever the hell you, you want. To, it's your team. You do whatever the hell you want, okay? So this one's mine. So that's just the way it's going to be. And that is of respect of everybody in this room. But this is how we do it. And we'll always have these kinds of discussions because I'm only trying to make it better. If something we can do better, we're going to do it better. It's just that simple. All right, let's get out of here. Ready to break? All right. Defense downstairs, 11:15. How can the Browns get tougher? Drummer and linebacker Christian Kirksey thinks the answer comes by asking a different question. Go ahead. I want everybody to take out a piece of paper and, and write what's your why, why you play football. I either do it for the money, I do it to get my family out of the situation, I, I did it because football changed my life, got me out of trouble. Everybody got their own individual why. So I just want y'all to write down what it is, and I want you to put it, you can tape it on your ceiling in a, in a hotel room, you can put it on your nightstand. Every morning you wake up, that's gonna be the first thing you see. And before you go to sleep, that's the last thing you're gonna see is your why. When it's tough, you're always gonna remember every morning you wake up, every night you go to sleep is the reason why you do this. So I just wanna have my little two cents in, I, mean, I love y'all boys. I'm just, I'm just overly excited right now, man, because I really feel like we're about to do something special. So that's all I needed to say. It has been a difficult two weeks for Browns head coach Hugh Jackson. His mother passed away on Sunday about two weeks after his brother died. Jackson will stay with the team until her funeral next week. What's up, guys? How you doing? Yeah. How you doing? I'm good, man. I'm good. Fight through, bro. That's what you do. Yeah. Keep going. Come here. We all got to stand up here for a moment. Come here. Huh? We all got to stand up here. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Let's all get a little group hug in here, brother. Come on. Yeah, I know that. Come on. Let's get a group hug. Just can't can't keep it all bottled up though. You gotta let it go, man. I know you're strong and all, but we've all been through it. We're all, <laughs> we're all here to support you. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. One of the things we all as an organization, we we're, we're there for you, man. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. We're all in this together. Absolutely. Thank you guys. Let me get myself together. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. 
Thanks, man. Love you guys. You guys know that. Love you too, sir. Love you too. Okay. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Good. Come on. Yeah. Fine. Uh, yeah. Fine. 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 I know you. Thank you. Love you, man. Thank you. That's bigger than this. I know. You know I got it. Yes, sir. Now, I want to leave you with something. I lost my brother on the 17th of this month, and I lost my mother this week. It was probably one of the toughest days of my life, okay? But all of you men, to a man, was there. That's what's called family and brotherhood, okay? And I appreciate that more than you know, okay? Let's break up and go. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you. Oh, you don't know that? Get on out of here, man. Y'all, we got stuff to do. Let's get to a meeting. Let's go. I catch y'all, y'all. Todd's gonna, Todd's gonna do some offensive stuff. All right, okay. Oh, it's all good, buddy. Yes, hey, it's part of it. Part of it. I wasn't here yesterday. I just want to say I'm praying for you. Thank you, my man. Appreciate it. Sorry for your loss. Time for the 2018 Browns to start finding out who they are and how they're going to do it. And we're going to start playing some damn football. Let's go. That's their call. Quarterback. I was trying to. Honestly, I don't want to hit him. High speed collisions all day. <laughs> High, speed High speed collisions, collisions all day. Hey, hand me that, hand me Set. Hey, watch the pitch. Point 80. Yep. Yes, sir. Ooh. Dropping a dime piece. What is thing with it? Yep. Good job, bro. Good shot. Good shot. Tyrod Taylor! I see you, Juice. Y'all better look out, man. Juice on the loose today. I'm just telling y'all. Who's my Z? Right here. Give me a good fake on this one. Here you go. Brown FedEx. Brown FedEx. Brown FedEx. Casio. 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 Physical ball right here. Hurry, hurry. Get in there, chop. Boom. Good boy. Get away. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job, Scott. Boy, you Here we go, Brownies. Here we go. Here we go, Brownies. Here we go. Oh my lord, you see that? Oh my lord. 
one hand, no, one hand. One hand. One hand. Oh, yeah. You seen that? Oh, oh man. Wow. <laughs> Eat out there. Bless him. <laughs> Bless him. Bless him there, Eddie. That's what I'm talking about. I want to play football, boy. You hear me? Job is cold, bro. Can't coach that. Everybody's amazed at that. That's just routine. Is it? What a call. Bless him. I got a confession here. Go ahead and bless her. Hey, hey you confession. cold. Bro. Confession. I got a confession. Hey, you cold, Come bro. On, man. Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. In close, in close, we all family. Now, where's my man Tyrod? Come on up here, Ty. Five. Birthday boy. Birthday boy. Birthday boy. Bring it up, honey, bring it up. Years old. Uh, 36. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Appreciate y'all, man. I'm 29. I appreciate y'all. Hey, remember what I told y'all, man. Find your why. Why you do the things you do. Right? Yep. And we got to find our why collectively, and that's to win the championship. Keep grinding. Family on three. One, two, three. Family.